Hell yeah, brother. So we had a theory that while Mac, Mac, oh, we're off to a good start. While Apple can refuse to service us, they can't very well refuse to sell us stuff. And we tested that theory on the brand new MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018 edition, 32 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, 2.9 gigahertz, 15.4 inch Radeon Pro 560X Core i9 laptop. Now, you guys have probably seen the headlines about this thing. Headline number one, they fixed the keyboard, maybe? Question mark? No one seems to be 100% sure about that as of the last time that I was looking at anything. And headline number two, oh wait, I shouldn't open it yet. Hold on. Headline number two is that this thing thermal throtters like a mother advertiser friendly content. So we figured, since it actually just arrived like two hours ago, because Canada, we get to be way behind all the American media outlets, um, we figured, let's set ourselves a challenge. Let's set a timer. Jake, can you set a timer? Let's set a timer, set a timer. and find out exactly how long it'll take us to go from completely sealed box to thermal throttled processor. Are you ready? So uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's hit this thing. OK. Yep. Oh, do I? Oh, oh wait. Oh, you, wait, wait, wait. OK, ready? well, hold on. Let me, let me get a knife ready. Let me get a knife ready. Actually, I'm going to use Maxine's fork. Oh. I hardcore stole that. Hardcore stole Max's fork. Okay, you ready? All right, do it. Three, two, one, go. Go, go. yes. OK. Let's go ahead and rip this baby open. Uh, uh, OK, garbage goes over there. It's the, the new 2018 MacBook Pro, just like the old MacBook Pro, but a better processor, but maybe you're not getting the benefit of it. All right, so we've got our USB Type-C cable. I mean, I'm not going to skimp on the unboxing experience that you would normally get here on Linus Tech Tips, so I want you guys to come along with me on the epic journey of discovery of these uh, documentations, this uh, warranty information. Thanks for that, Apple, and these Apple stickers that you can put on all of your favorite things. Look at this. Now we have a red camera. No. With an Apple sticker. No. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Brandon. Oh, I just God. put the oh, I just put the Apple sticker right over the red logo. And don't take that off. I hate you. If you take that off, then uh, I mean I'm not going to fire you because you're a very valuable employee. But I could um, I I could I could say mean things to you. I'll say mean things. In fact, I'll say them to, I'll say them to uh, I'll say them to your girlfriend. Yeah, I'll say mean things about you to her. There. All right. We've got. To... <laughs> she. she... <laughs> She knows me reasonably well. Yeah, she, she she knows me reasonably well. Uh, like we went on a date once, so um, like she, she probably wouldn't believe what I said. No, we we did, we did. He's not joking. Uh, no, I'm not joking at all. No, uh, Brandon couldn't make it because he was literally busy uh, doing camera operation for the show that we went to see, and he's like, "Hey, I've got a ticket. Oh, by the way, you're going with my girlfriend." <laughs> no, I'm not joking at all. <laughs> Look, I'm on this, okay? I got my power adapter plugged in. Because uh, um, Apple makes magical products, you can plug this power adapter into any one of the four ports on, actually, okay, not any one of the five ports, but any one of the four Thunderbolt 3 ports on this particular device. You've got that three and a half millimeter jack. Mm, yeah, I love to see that. And then two Thunderbolt 3s over here, two Thunderbolt 3s over there, and a whole lot of not a heck of a lot else. You got space, is it space gray? Or is there a different gray? Is this space I have gray? No idea. I don't know. I've never, I've never been to space. Um, unlike Apple's color engineers, I mean, they, they must have color engineers. Can you imagine that as a job title? I'm a color engineer. I mean, companies like Pantone must have like lots of color engineers. Look at that. Look how fast that booted up. See, I'm not behind at all. Oh, it's talking to me. Oh, dude, you got a bunch of secret chats. Hi Siri. Um, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, select our English language. We're not gonna be throttling this. Okay. Some people are not super chatting right. Um, we got this one guy, BJ, who goes, uh, Linus, long time lurker, your integrity is golden. Um, don't ban me, come visit and tour one of our digital realty mega data centers. Okay, so that's a $20 super chat. Then, like a, a minute later, there's a $40 super chat for, wait, how does this work? Why does it keep sending money? And then right after that, there's a $50 super chat for, am I doing this I wrong? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the last thing. Well, the, they actually came through after the stream ended, so that's why it's showing up in today's. And I'm sitting here, I'm reading these things. I'm going, 
I hope this is just an elaborate troll, BJ, because no, you're not doing it right. You're doing it super wrong. I'm not even live right now. Uh, I think we've got a, wow, we've got a whole bunch of them rolling in today, though. Hi, Antonio, says, thank you for inspiring me to build on my PCs. Yeah! Uh, okay, who says dank, wait, no, it's yeah, not X-Cake says dank book pro, well, I'm waiting. Look at this, I've got the beach ball. Like, oh. I can't, I can't do anything, so I'm reading Super Chats. Okay. Timotio, I'll pay for shipping if you send me the toasted MacBook. It's still trash, but it's expensive trash. Also, I'll be your color engineer. Five dollars to send a resume to me, to be my color engineer. You know, we probably could use a color engineer, but we aren't hiring that position. How long does this take? What did you click? I clicked Canada. It's like, Sorry <laughs> you know that. what? You know what? You're Canadian. Forget about it. You can wait. You can wait. Canadian. We heard Canadians are very patient. Ah, here we go. Like, sorry, MacBooks don't work in Canada. All right, U.S. Uh, whatever it's called. Let's hop on that that gorgeous Wi-Fi that I will not be sharing my password for with you. So I'm just gonna type some things, and then I'm gonna pretend to type some other things because I know that from the sound alone, you can reconstruct passwords now. It's like, thank you, machine learning and AI. Now we don't even have to brute force anything. The machines, they're too smart. Uh, Gareth says, throttle me, senpai. Right there, throttle me. It's a different kind of throttle, but you get the joke. Um, Linus, your pink Lambo is dying. Use this $5 towards the recycling fees so it can die a peaceful death. Thank you, Jericho. Um, but actually, we have auto wreckers around here that will take that for me, and they'll take the few useful parts that remain, like the steering wheel, for example, and they will pass them along to happy other, ooh, what did I just do? Uh, don't transfer, yeah, we're not transferring it. We don't need any information in order to the thermal throttle. Okay, let's get signed into the Apple ID. Five and a half minutes, I got this, I got this, brah. As long as I can remember my Apple ID password, oh, I should be okay. We should have put the timer on stream. Oh, we definitely should have put the timer on stream. I have read and I agree. I have no, ain't nobody got time to read the entire terms and conditions right now. Uh, okay, uh, password. You know, uh, I don't need one. I haven't provided all the, uh, what? What? It makes you have a password? No. Oh, man, okay, well, let's just, let's just go with something kind of crap. Uh, okay. Uh, are you not? Are you looking down or what? Are you not? No. Okay, good, good. That's good. Uh, hint. Hi there. Ha. Useful hints. Yeah, right. Okay. This is taking longer than I thought. I actually don't set up Macs very often, so I. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> so I, I had no idea how uh, how long the initial setup takes. Apparently, there are thirteen thousand of you watching to see how quickly we can thermal throttle this thing. So I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Uh, Steven says, water cool the i9 MacBook. I'd love to find a way, but the one time we did see water cooling built into a laptop, it actually was not a great user experience, and it's not something that we're really saying we think manufacturers should jump in and do. Um, Express setup. Yes, continue, continue is grayed out. Siri. Ah, uh, sure, ask Siri. Oh, set up, hey Siri leader. Okay, uh, 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 sure. Uh, sure. Uh, oh man. Uh, yeah, fine. Wow, that's really fast. Oh, that is pretty sick. I'm just like, pow, 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 pow. Wow. Okay, all right. Kudos, Apple. That is the fastest touch setup, I think, other than Samsung's swipe one. But I trust this one more because it lets me, like, use a bunch of different parts of my finger. That is that is pretty sick. Oh wait, no, let's set this up later. Oh crap. Uh, 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 oh, oh no, screw True Tone. How do I turn it off? Holy crap, thank you Apple. This is what Apple does when they offer you choice, but they've already decided what the best option is for you, the user. They show you what it looks like without True Tone, and then they're like, yeah, you can go figure out how to change this later. There's no way to turn it off now. They're just like, here's a tease. Uh, here's your screen, not yellow. But enjoy not being able to do that. Okay, setting up your Mac. Xcake 
says throttling while doing first boot. No, no, not yet, not yet. Um, oh, Alexander says you gave a super positive review of those carbon thermal pads. Why haven't you used them much since then? Um, I use them. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, Jake's used them, yeah, so them. that's cool. They're really nice for not making a big mess. I'll be honest with you. I forgot about them, so. Are you going to bring me one? No, no, it's fine. I, I won't need it for this. I'm not ripping this thing open right now. I won't need to open it to thermal throttle it. Now, huh, uh, Prime95 for Mac apparently exists, but I guess it's not in the App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire that up there. What we will grab in the App Store, just because I i don't know, I might want to see a more realistic load. Maybe like the final cut, the professional. Uh, install. I love that. That's an essential program, according to Apple. Can I not use Touch ID? Oh, for serious? Okay, don't 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 look at the don't look at the keyboard. Okay, I think I got it. Why can't I use Touch? Didn't I just set this thing up? Like, didn't I just do that? It'll probably prompt you after. Yeah, well, it's annoying. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the Safari. What what are we at right now? Um, sixteen and a half thousand. Sixteen. No, no, no. I want to know. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, the other thing. What are we? What are we doing? What are we doing for time? Okay, so yeah, here's Prime ninety five OS ten edition. Nine minutes forty five seconds. Nine minutes. Okay, come on, baby. I'm gonna do this. Uh, okay, these all look like text things. Okay, then we need Prime ninety five can't be opened because it is from an unidentified develop. This shouldn't count against my time. Your security preference. I gotta change security preference. I'm I think crying out loud. Fine. Fine. Uh, security and privacy. Uh, general. Allow apps down. Click the lock to make changes. I'm, I'm, okay, whatever. Oh, wow. And Touch ID doesn't work for this either. Okay, don't look at the keyboard. How much do they want me to enter my password? It's like they're in love with my password. Ah, just a sec. Got to do it again. Okay. What kind of chimpanzee needs to use the touch bar? To press a button like unlock instead, like you already have enter. Like, okay, you know what? No, don't worry about it. Okay, sorry, I gotta try and enter this one more time. And no offense to anyone who uses the touch bar to interact with system dialogues. I'm sure you're, um, I'm sure you're very adept people. I mean, at least you can type your password without doing it incorrect. What? Is it just? Oh, it wants my stupid. Why would it want my username one? Okay, yeah, okay. I got to do the like cheapo throwaway password. Crying out loud! All right, who's the chimp now, right? Okay, so allow apps downloaded from the the only two options are App Store and identified developers and App Store. Advanced. What? Show file vault privacy. Am I going to have to Google this? If I change it to just App Store, is this going to install? You've got to be kidding me. Your security preferences allow installation of only apps from the App Store. Yeah, open anyway. You have to have this thing open. There is no button for allow apps downloaded from unidentified developers. Wow. Uh, yeah, whatever, apply. Okay, hours per day this program will run. No, no, I just want to do a stress test. Test. Uh, 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 uh. Crap, I've never, oh, here we go, torture test. Okay, small FFTs, there we go, baby. All right, and we also need hardware, hardware info or something like that. Where's, uh, where's the app store? Hardware monitor? There's some kind of. Hold on, no, no, I think there's a, hmm. Okay, yeah, let's try temperature. How long is this taking? Uh, 12 minutes, 40 seconds. Oh, I spelled temperature wrong. Almost 20,000 people watching this right now. Crap. Temperature gate, $25? <laughs> Upgrade to temperature gauge pro for free after purchasing and running once. Fan control, a new feature. Holy crap, $25. That's ridiculous. How do you go back? How do you, oh, I'm going to use the touch bar. Yeah, touch bar. Ooh, I didn't know the keyboard shortcut and had to use the touch bar. You know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, you know what? I think we're probably just... 
Uh, hardware monitor Mac. Let's try that. Hardware sensors. Is there a hardware monitor like program for Mac? There's a, hey, it's the Linus Tech Tips Forum. How about that SEO? Good job, Luke and team. Very nice. All right, this one apparently lacks GPU temps, but what do I care? Uh, perhaps the activity monitor dock icon. Uh, sure. OK. Oh, wow. How do I just, oh, how do I just get it? OK, D dying. OK, back, back. Get Monit. Let's try Monit. Watch this be paid. $3. No, I'm not paying $3 to see the temperature of my system. There has to be a free way to do this. Get Fanny Widget. <laughs> Sounds like a porn thing. Also, their domain is dead. I mean, for, it could have been a porn thing by now, given that they're gone. I guess that's what you get for, uh, I guess that's what you get for giving away apps to Mac users for free. You go out of business. Um, okay. Oh, for Everyone crying out loud. What is HW monitor? Or Intel Power Gadget. Yeah, HW monitor. Thank you. Thank you, stream. I heart you guys. A lot of Intel Power Gadget. HW monitor. Oh, this is just CPU ID. Oh, they did they have a they have a Mac version? Supposedly. Uh uh. uh no, I don't I don't see that. Search up Intel Power Gadget. Okay, I'll try Intel Power. Nah. nah. See, Intel probably recognized that it's ridiculous that you can't just power gadget for math. You can't just see your system temperatures. And they were like, OK, I guess we better fix this. Let's see if Intel is a verified developer. Yep. 20, people Looks like it. OK, Intel Power Gadget. Here we Wait, install Intel Power Gadget. Oh. No. Uh, oh, only App Store. Uh, the camera's shutting off. What do you mean the camera's shutting off? Uh, what? Oh, oh my gosh. okay. But, but they can still hear me, probably, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, <laughs> Brandon, don't swear. We're we're live. Are you turning it back on? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. That's that's red. That's red camera streaming reliability for you right there. Don't worry, you guys aren't missing much. I'm just installing the uh, power gadget. And also, it is letting me use Touch ID to install it. System extension blocked? What? Just, no, just allow it. I don't care. Open anyway. It's Intel. It's fine. Probably. OK, I think it's going now. Sheesh. Uh, install time, less than a minute. I, I can't tell if it's working. Because if I go back over here, it still says Intel Power Gadget PKG was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer. I say open anyway. And it comes back to this. And it does say install time less than a minute, but it's not moving. So I can't tell if it's actually working. Hey, installation was successful. OK, where's my Power Gadget? Command space bar is like the only Mac shortcut that I know because it's amazing. Intel Power Gadget. It is not currently loaded. If you just installed the app, please load the driver by going to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, General, and then Allow System Software from Intel Corporation Apps. I, I already, what the heck? Apparently, you can right-click the program and click Open, then you can use non-App Store apps. Oh, what? So brutal. Or in settings, there's Oh, of course, right click is not enabled by default, even though it actually does. Like fundamental, important things, even on the Mac. Okay, trackpad, secondary okay. click. Oh, it's click with two fingers. I tried to, like, hard click with two fingers. Okay, fine, whatever. Huh, huh. I'm having flashbacks to that video that I did with Justine. Oh, here we go. Now there's an allow button. Now it's here. This wasn't here before. Oh, my whole plan was that I was going to use the TV behind me to screen share with you guys. I even went and got a dongle for my Dongle Book Pro, which I'm informed is an old dead meme joke now, but I don't even care. I'm still making it. Right there, suckas. Boom. OK. So 18 minutes. is this open now? Shh. What are even happening here? 
There we go. All right, Intel Power Gadget. Open. Hey, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yes. Power Gadget. Wow, this scaling kind of sucks. Like, can you even see any of that? Yeah. Holy crap. So all we've done so far with 4% utilization, five, six. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. Five. Let's say five. All we've done is like install Power Gadget and Prime 95. Also, I have Final Cut Pro. That is, that's fully installed now. And we are at 56 degrees on the package. Oh boy. Oh boy there. Um, well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? All right. Let's start a torture test and let's see how long this takes. You ready, kids? 12 thread. Boom. Oh, they're way over here. Oh. We are at 100 degrees! <laughs> 19 minutes and 5 seconds? Yeah. Uh, can we see what frequency it's running at? Power. I don't know. Uh, where is it? Wow, so what is it? Is that in amps? That says uh, IA. Would that be current in amps? I is current, right? Yeah, current core frequency. Wait, what? Current core power. Oh, here we go. Current package power. Wait, what? Current core frequency. Now that's weird. Well, look at how high it went, and then it was like, nope. Nope. Can we see what um, what frequency our CPU is running at? Which frequency? Which one? The middle frequency. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't see that. I, when you mouse over this, it says current core frequency, so I got confused. See that? <laughs> yeah. There's a little gap there where the, like, the mouse over is broken. So we, are, <laughs> we managed to run over 3 gigahertz for this long. What, what is that? Like, Two or three seconds? Wow, maybe that might be about five seconds. And then we drop all the way down to two point gigahertz and change, and the fan is starting to ramp up. Finally. Finally, the MacBook Pro is figuring out, oh, you want to do so Oh, you want to do something. Oh, how about that? Now, in fairness to Apple, Prime 95 small FFT is a fairly um, brutal workload like that's it's it's not realistic necessarily but um i bet we can reproduce these results with something else as well so let's go ahead and just force quit prime 95 boop boop and then you guys are about to watch something amazing i promise it's amazing because i'm gonna try to do something in final cut pro and it will amaze you how bad that's going to look. All right, let's open up Final Cut Pro. I actually bought this just for the MacBook 2016 video so that I could like see how all the like fast video encoding times that the other guys are talking about. And it is really fast. It's like actually pretty impressive. All right. So, oh man, the TV's cut off. My output's like over scanned or whatever. Uh, okay, so what, what's, a, like a, what's a smart collection? Oh man, you know what, maybe, maybe I won't do this. All, all I want is just to get like a video file. Okay, new project, here we go. Untitled project, uh, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. And then let's get like a, a video clip or something, right? Uh, Brandon, do you know how to use Final Cut? Um, how about import, import media? Does that seem likely? Okay, cool. Um, Okay, devices, favorites, how do you just go to a network drive? Of course you can't just go to a network drive, right, I remember that. Um, oh, oh boy, oh boy, finder. Uh, uh, hold on, oh man, I, I, might, I, might, I might give up on this. I, I might actually give up on this. Okay, finder preference, is it preferences? Advanced, uh, 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 map, map network drive, map network drive, please. Yeah, I don't remember how to do this. Wait, connect to server. There it is. Okay, go. It's under go. Sorry, I should have known. Server address. Uh, okay, let's try that. Connect. There was a problem. I think you have to. Uh, oh, SMB. Cool. Let's try that. No, nope, that's not working. Um, I get. Sorry, how many people are watching? 23,000 people are watching me fail at Final Cut. Oh, that's not good. Okay, you know what then? I'm going to I'm gonna cut this off. The point is, it probably wouldn't... I should have just installed Premiere. At least I, like, at least I know how to like add a video clip to a timeline in Premiere. I'm like sweating right now, freaking out, trying to remember how to do that. I, I don't remember how to do it. You are? Where? Where? On 
flash drive. Onto a flash drive? Yeah. Oh. 30 gig. It's a string from yes. Cool. OK, then in that case, I'm going to burn two minutes talking to Super Chat people while I wait for that. Francisco says, $1 more than the last guy. Now I'm a color engineer. <laughs> good, 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 good on you. Uh, DJ asks, how much life does a CPU lose when it's hot, like 100 degrees? Um, OK, that's actually, a, wow, that's actually a really good question from DJ Gaming. So we don't know exactly, because it would vary from chip to chip. So some processors are more resilient in like high, high thermal environments than others. That's why, uh, and that's true of actually a lot of components. Like for example, when you're shopping for capacitors, you can find capacitors that are rated to run at 85 degrees or capacitors that are rated to run at 105 degrees. So it comes down to the individual product. As for CPUs, we don't know how long Intel, like we don't know what Intel's curve looks like, but we do know that they probably have one internally like an exact expected failure rate at any given uh, temperature range. So it would go from zero at you know, zero degrees or some, some very small amount. And, and they usually rate failure rate in terms of uh, per year, what percentage of them would die or something along those lines. So it would go from like very, very low. And then it would probably look kind of like this. And then it would have like an exponential upswing. What we know is that Intel has set some kind of internal bar for 100 degrees being the maximum level at which they would consider um, that, fail, that annual fail rate, failure rate to be acceptable. So we don't unfortunately know what percentage of them it will cause to die, but we do know that more thermals makes it more likely that they will die, even if we don't know exactly by how much. So there you go, great question. Uh, Duck goes quack says I've always wondered this. Can you use liquid metal for a liquid cooled computer? Uh, no, you uh, okay. Asks if we can put mercury in the tubing for a liquid cooled computer. Theoretically, sure, but no. <laughs> uh, that would be really cool. That would be a lot of mercury. That would be like scary stuff. Don't worry. Water has excellent thermal transfer and and heat retention. Properties. We're going to stick with water. Uh, uh, sorry? Yeah, legit dangerous. Like, scary. And it would be so heavy. Uh, Aman says, thanks for getting me into tech when I was nine. Without it, I wouldn't be attending Stanford for computer science. Well, you already know far more about it than I do. Uh, CJ says, just throw it out the window. It'll be better out there. It, actually, it's cooler in my office than it is outside. So you're wrong, unfortunately. You spent thirteen ninety nine to be wrong today. But that's OK, still. Still hard. Uh, how's that that flash like, drive doing? I had to restart it because it's oh. NTFS. Like 60% NTFS. Okay. <laughs> My 500 gig Windows installed this. Carl figures I'm thermal throttling. Thank you for that. Aaron says if you right click the app icon and click open, instead of double clicking, you'll get a dialog that says open anyway. Oh, that's intuitive. Thank you, Aaron, the video guy. Who else we got here? Uh, Captain Cheerios says, what happened to Linus's evil twin with the MSI dragon tattoo? OK, that wasn't an MSI dragon for one thing. And for another, um, maybe he never left. Am I getting like a shifty eyebrows thing going on here? No. No? OK. No. Uh, what else we got here? <laughs> Liam sent 15 euros to say, Remember when Apple made an ad complaining about how often Vista looked for approval and passwords? That is funny, isn't it? I like that. I like this guy. Uh, Thomas says, stick some of those heat pipes you had for DIY heatsink onto the back. Now that is an interesting idea. Like modding out the MacBook Pro to try to attach some kind of external thermal solution to it. I don't know how effective it would be, though, because we don't even know. We'd have to pull it apart to find out how efficiently it even transfers heat to the chassis. And then the chassis doesn't have a ton of surface area. Like, it's, it's less than you might think because it's flat. We should, uh, we should rest it on those two knock babies things and see if it'll stay under the tent. All right, untitled. Uh, steamy? What is that? What? Ooh, steamy. Steam apps. Oh, that's the micro SD that I have in here. That's from when I was trying to do the um, 
uh, Steam drive on that thing. Sorry, I, I just I I look I opened up Untitled and I thought it was. It's wait, a 30, 30 gig file. This is an MKV. Is this even going to work? Where'd you even get this? What is this? That's what I recorded the stream. Oh, you recorded MKV the stream as MKV. Stop recording abruptly. It doesn't corrupt the file. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, import all, I guess? No importable uh, files. Yeah, does yeah. Final Cut even support MKV? I don't know. I, I, I don't, yeah, yeah. why would it? <laughs> Dang it, Jake. I can get a why file. would you, why, why would you? Oh. Here, give me a new file. How am I going <laughs> to? Try and try and keep it with this too. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. No, I don't need these right now. These are just graphite pads. I'm, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta entertain the people somehow. Juggling. I'm gonna get it this time, Brendan. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Hold on. No, no, no. I, I did way, I did way better in one of our upcoming videos on like budget water cooling. I was, I was. Do you think we could edit that together to make it look pretty continuous or no? No. No, you don't think so. Okay. Ah, crap. No, I'm good. Why did I even let him do it this time? I should have just gone back and found my own stupid video file. All right, what else we got in here then? Buffering says, hi, babe. Clockman, did you know you can run Mac OS 6.0.8 on a Nintendo DS? I did not. Thank you. I learned something today. Uh, Victor says, hello from Russia. Cordefa says, I bet it doesn't overheat in Canada. Their temps are always lower. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It definitely it definitely overheats, like, basically instantly. I mean, there's probably people here that, like, missed it. So maybe we should go ahead and just do our demo again, our, our unrealistic demo. And, uh, oh, man, I hate that that's cut off. That's really annoying. Options, torture test. Here we go. Here comes the, oh, wait, hold on. Let's get the Intel application up. Where'd the torture test go? How do you how do you alt tab on a Mac? Here we go. No, it's fine. It's fine. I got this. You know, yeah. Let's do a blend test. Let's have a look. Wait, what? Why is that so messed up? Look at that. That's weird, hey. Why does this say? Why is it? I, did this see? I, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna relaunch Power Gadget just to see if maybe it's gonna be less herpeterp. Yeah, that looks better. OK, cool. Here it comes. Options. Wow, the fans are already ramping up in anticipation. I wonder if they really are. Can you hear that? I, now that's interesting. That would be a cool little piece of tech if the MacBook was actually watching OK, what kind of applications can I be expected to get hurt by? Let's ramp up the fans proactively, because wait, no, we're at 34% utilization right now. What's even going on? What the heck is using 34% of our CPU time? Never mind. What? Does, does the Mac have an equivalent to like task manager? Um, like how do you how do you see? What's using your pro? Hey, hey Anthony, yeah. is there like, like a task manager equivalent in macOS? Yeah, activity monitor. Activity monitor? Yeah, sure Thanks, bro. Yeah. Okay, what's using all the CPU? Okay, apparently, uh, Prime ninety five is already grabbing thirty percent CPU. Oh, okay. Oh, but uh, did I start the blend test at some point? Okay, okay, I must. Wait, what? That is so weird. What is it doing? Yeah, it is. There is a worker thread running. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. So it's only one worker. So whatever. Let's just hit it with the torture test then. So now our utilization's at 100%. Our temperature's going down, but then our frequency is reporting at. Yeah, 2.6 now. Oh, so our RAM power goes up because we're blend testing instead of small FFT testing this time. And then our CPU power is actually quite down, like our power draw. But we're still nowhere near the frequencies that this kind of a CPU should be running at. All right. Oh, the video file is perhaps here, although I don't know whether I can yeah. trust Jake to do anything right. It's MP4s? It's MP4s? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Okay, we're quitting Prime 95. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even, I honestly don't know if it's going to use these either. Okay, yes. Yes, we can. Oh, thank you. Import selected. Close window after starting import. There we go. Thank you, Jakku. No problem. Uh, so what do I just, like, drag it over or what? Can I two-finger two finger it here? Look, it's not what you think. Uh, okay, cool. So this is, what is this? This is the video from DreamHack? Yeah. Okay, so then I just need to export it. Uh, how do you do that? <laughs> file. file. Export XML. No, no. Uh, file. Uh, uh, consolidate media event. Save. Share. It's not share, is it? Oh, it's not share, is it? Share YouTube. No. Uh, Final Cut Pro. Download additional preferences, commands, edit. What? It's not under file? File. New. No. Oh, man. Does anyone know how to use Final Cut? It's not export. Reveal in Finder, reveal in Project Browser, open library. How is this even possible? How is it not under edit or, or file, rather? It should be under file, no? Um. Um. Why? Can you Google this? <laughs> this is terrible. In in my defense, I, I we know we're live streaming right now, right? Okay. In my defense, I have like barely touched Final Cut Pro ever. Select the project you want to export. Select the in the top left, I think. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This. This. And then is it over here? Uh, open the export command E. Command E. No, I want to know what stupid button you, you are, where the thing you click is. Command E, you know what? Forget it. Fine. I will press Command E. OK, now what? Oh, there you go. Crying out loud. All right. 31.4 gigs estimate. Save as a more like nightmare hack now. Hack. Okay, no, I don't want to save it to iCloud. Just, I don't know, de desktop. Why is desktop, desktop iCloud? iCloud? What? No, I just... Go downloads. Just, ugh, fine. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, now let's bring up the Intel Power Gadget. How are we doing here? Okay, what frequency are we going to run at? We peaked at 3... Oh, wow, it's already down to 2.5? What? 2.8, 2.9, and temperature still climbing. Temperature still climbing. Oh, Camera my. shutting down again. They're gonna miss the moment. <laughs> They're gonna miss the moment when a real load causes it to throttle. I mean, it's already basically throttling at this point. But I mean, it depends how you define throttling. Do you? There it goes. There it goes. Look at that. We can't look at it. They can't. Did it shut down again? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, if we had screen sharing set up. Oh, oh, what about this? Why don't we just why don't we just rip the HDMI cable out of here and plug it into the capture card? Can we hold on? Maybe we could just screen share it. No, I don't have an HDMI cable. I don't Are we back on? Okay, so Oh. Any any second So that's fine. I can show you guys the moment. I can show you the moment. So we got up to about 90 degrees in a real workload, 88. And then you can see here where the frequency went from about 3 gigahertz down to where as low as 2.35, 2.4, 2.5. Go and then you can see right here where the power for the package went from 30, I guess these are probably watts, probably 30 watts down to like 20 watts. And then it settled in around 20 to 23 watts here. So realistic workload, this thing throttles in a matter of less than a minute. And then unrealistic workload, it throttles in about three to five seconds. And I am thermal throttled now. So uh, thank you guys for tuning into the live, live stream, live stream. Thank you to all of you who sent super chats, of course. Oh, Hades says, don't say Google, you triggered literally everything. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. Um, and oh, yeah, what can I do for you? BJ did make it in before the end of the stream today. Oh, hi again, BJ. 6969. 6969. BJ, you are a gigantic troll. Um, 
what, what else can I say at that point? Uh, Paolo says, we have the i9, and that's a great point. I would love to see how the new XPS with the i9 is behaving as well, because honestly, I suspect it's not much better. Like, we're ripping on Apple a little bit here, but they're far from the only ones who have had trouble in the past with what used to be Intel's HK series of processors, and now they're calling Core i9, but those are their very high TDP mobile chips. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Dislike or like, check out our other channels. No, that's my tech quickie outro. Oh, crap. Um, merch, buy, buy merch. Uh, what, what, what else am I supposed to say? Uh, don't subscribe. Oh, oh, and join the forum. Join the forum, we'll see you there. Okay, cut, cut it, Jake. What, what? Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, press the button.